Hey guys, Kevin from SelectBun here with a tip on how to get Input Mapper and Windows 10 to play nicely together. If you're like me and enjoy using the DualShock 4 as your PC controller of choice and have recently upgraded to Windows 10, first thing you may have noticed that your favorite games no longer recognizes that your controller. While this doesn't affect every game on the market, popular titles such as Dark Souls 2 and Batman Arkham Knight won't recognize the PS4 controller at all. First, download and save the custom made .bat file provided in the article and comments below. It comes straight from the support team on the Input Mapper forums and we've already fully tested it. Next, you'll want to open Input Mapper, ensuring clients such as Steam or GOG Galaxy aren't currently running. You may want to run this as soon as you turn on your computer before running anything else. You'll want to ensure you have the bare minimum of clients open while attempting this. Oh, and make sure your controller isn't connected yet either. Once the program is open, right click on the .bat file provided and run it as administrator. You may be asked if you're sure if you want to open the file depending on your user account control settings within Windows. You will also lose desktop temporarily, but this is normal. With the command prompt open, turn on your DualShock 4 and you should see it connect within Input Mapper. If so, hit enter and the command prompt window will close and you should be good to go. If you see the yellow bar warning at the bottom of the program regarding exclusive mode, you may have to check if for programs that were running before you started the process. Close them and try again and it will work. If you have any further questions, feel free to reach out to us in the comments below.